All right, so uh, Gary Martin Dobbs, great to see some love for DVDs as I do love a Blu-ray, but if the DVD has comparable features, I'll get that instead. What software and hardware would you recommend for me to rip my stuff to a home server? So um, I can kind of tell you what I have, what I use, and I would recommend if you're really wanting to get the best possible kind of hardware stuff for your situation and budget maybe, Take a look at Reddit. Uh, there's tons of posts on Reddit as far as what specific drives can do what or whatever. But what I did was I bought a external Blu-ray drive from OWC Otherworld Computing. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, OWC. It was about ninety nine or ninety bucks or something. Does DVDs and Blu-rays? It doesn't do four K. Uh, that's a whole nother issue right but uh so i have that i've got a m2 studio mac studio and as far as software is concerned i use make mkv to do the actual ripping of the dvds and the blu-rays and then i use handbrake to take that mkv uh, container file and make it about a third of the size into an MPEG-4, and Blu-rays look fantastic, upscaled on the 4K. 99% uh, of the DVDs look perfectly fine to watch on the uh, upscaled on the 4K TV. I will say though, invest in a large capacity drive if you're gonna get into basically ripping and backing up your DVD, Blu-ray investment, your physical media investment. Um, I just bought a 24, 25 terabyte drive on Amazon for, I, I think it was about 225. It was on sale or something with Black Friday coming up. You're going to want to keep an eye on it. But instead of just buying one, if you can buy two and make sure that you have it back to your, your movie drive that has all of your media files that you're doing all this work for. Because uh, you're going to be spending months and months and months doing this. Um, that you have a backup drive to all of those movies. So I, I, it hurts on the front end, I know. And if you want to start a little bit smaller as far as a capacity drive, you certainly can do so also. But I've got about 200 movies. And that 25 terabyte drive is more than enough. More than enough right now to do all of that for me.